In this video, evidence will be presented that shows that the 9mm gun that was found on Lavoie's body was planted after Lavoie was killed and that Lavoie was unarmed when he was killed by the FBI and Oregon State Police. Although Lavoie's primary gun was carried in a holster on his right hip, Lavoie is often seen with a gun carried in a shoulder holster on his left side. This photo shows Lavoie wearing a shoulder holster and his 9mm handgun. The 9mm handgun is shown here. The butt of the gun is showing here. The left shoulder strap for the holster is seen here. The right shoulder strap for the holster is shown here. Here is another photo with Lavoie and his 9mm handgun. The gun is seen here. Here is another view with Lavoie wearing his shoulder holster. The left shoulder strap is seen here and the right shoulder strap is seen here. This photo shows a vertical shoulder holster that has a similar design to Lavoie's shoulder holster. Here are some photos with similar types of shoulder holsters. To draw the gun, the person reaches across their body with the right hand and grabs the gun. The gun will then be in a natural position in their hand for shooting. Now we will look at the gun that was supposedly found on Lavoie after he was killed. This is the direction towards Lavoie's head, and this is the direction towards Lavoie's feet. You can see Lavoie's blue jeans here, his belt, his denim jacket, his fleece sweater, and his shirt. Here is the 9mm Ruger SR9 handgun in a cloth pocket in the denim jacket. Here is the chest pocket in the denim jacket. The pocket containing the gun is just below this buttonhole and just below the exterior chest pocket. The gun is positioned in approximately this position within the pocket. Now that you have the orientation of the gun and the position in the jacket and on Lavoie's body, you have everything that you need to know in order to prove that the gun was planted. There are multiple lines of reasoning that all show that the gun was planted. If you wish to figure it out for yourself, pause the video now. First look at the simple arguments. Lavoie carried his gun in a shoulder holster. However, the gun was not found in a shoulder holster. It was found in a pocket that is not suitable for carrying a gun. A gun can be planted in a pocket in a matter of seconds, but it would not be possible to plant a shoulder holster on Lavoie without being obvious. Lavoie would have to be partially undressed by removing his jacket. The shoulder holster would need to be put on Lavoie, and then Lavoie would have to be redressed. Because of this, when the gun was planted, the FBI could not match the way that Lavoie carried his gun. Now a simulation is shown in comparison to the police photo. You should verify that the placement of the gun in the simulation is the same. Notice especially that the butt of the gun is facing toward the midline of the body, just as in the police photo. Now it will be shown the effect of drawing a gun that is placed in this position in the jacket. Here is shown the position of the gun in the jacket while standing. When the gun is drawn in the normal way, the result is that the gun is upside down. <laughs> To correct the gun position only takes a split second. Notice the position of the gun in the pocket when placed correctly. This gun is placed in the correct position. Compare this to the incorrect position as was found on Lavoie's body. The gun comes out of the pocket in the same position as it was placed in the pocket. This means that if Lavoie placed the gun in his own pocket, then he was holding the gun upside down when he placed it in his pocket. This is not a normal mistake. I have never seen someone make this mistake or even heard of anyone making this mistake. It is extremely unlikely that Lavoie placed the gun in his own pocket. Now let us look at the point of view of an officer planting a gun on Lavoie after he has been killed. Here the person planting the gun places the gun in the most natural way. However, this gun has been planted incorrectly and is actually upside down just as it was on Lavoie's body. To plant the gun correctly, 
the officer must recognize that the gun must be flipped. This motion is not natural for the officer, and unless the officer has thought about it clearly, he is more likely to plant the gun incorrectly than correctly. Although it is nearly impossible for Lavoy to have put the gun in upside down, it is extremely likely that the officer planting a gun would have put it in upside down, just as found on Lavoy's body. The only reasonable situation where Lavoy might have placed the gun incorrectly would be if he was in such an extreme hurry that he grabbed the gun in an unusual position and just placed the gun in his pocket in a random way. To correct the position takes less than a second, so this could only happen in an extreme situation. The only time that Lavoy was in such an extreme hurry was when he was exiting the truck after stopping in the snowbank. At all other times, Lavoy would have had plenty of time to place the gun correctly. Now you will see the video of Lavoy as he approaches the snowbank. As Lavoy is exiting the truck, the video remains on Lavoy the entire time. Lavoy does not reach or even look towards the seat beside him. There is clear video evidence that Lavoy did not reach for anything at this time. Hey, um. Okay, because they're shooting. Hey, um. Okay, we're down. Okay, I'm here. Go ahead and shoot me! This means that the only possible time Lavoy could have placed the gun in upside down has been eliminated in the strongest way possible by direct video evidence to the contrary. Lavoy did not reach for anything at this time. As a result, there is no possible way that Lavoy placed the gun in his own pocket. The gun must have been planted. Now I will summarize the evidence. Lavoy normally carried his 9mm handgun in a shoulder holster. The shoulder holster was not found on Lavoy or in the truck. Lavoy carried his 9mm handgun in the normal position for a right-handed person. The gun was not found in this position. The gun was found in a pocket that is not suitable for carrying a gun. The gun was placed in an unnatural position and could not have been mistakenly placed that way by Lavoy. Placing the gun in the unnatural position would have been a very likely mistake to make by an officer planting the gun. In conclusion, Lavoy did not place the gun in his own pocket. The gun was planted on Lavoy after Lavoy was killed either by the FBI or the Oregon State Police. Lavoy was not wearing the shoulder holster because it could not be placed on Lavoy easily after he was dead. Lavoy was unarmed when he was killed by the FBI and Oregon State Police. To summarize more clearly, anyone who claims that the gun found on Lavoy was not planted by law enforcement is also claiming that this is a reasonable way to hold a gun.